Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well and welcome back. I mean, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Chewy. Um, I just like to say right off the bat, most of the people who find my channel find me from these first videos in a campaign. So if you see a campaign that you're enjoying on my channel, subscribe. And if you ding the bell, it'll send you a notification when I upload. But uh, I can't ask you to do that before I play some games, right? So we are going to be playing So, the pirate So. Well, he's not a pirate yet, but he will be soon. We will be. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to title this campaign like the Wokou or something like that. Wokou, something. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not, I am a, not a native Japanese speaker. And my Japanese is poo poo. We're going to immediately build up to force limit. We're going to immediately have you guys protecting trade in Nippon. And um, we are going to rival a couple of people. This is Ochi over here. Ochi? I'm going to pronounce all this wrong, so don't even bother correcting me because it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Kano? Kono? Over here. I think we start allied to these guys. Very good. Okay. Okay. So, let's see here. Uh, we are waiting to make sure. We just, we're just going to immediately start converting... Some spy network on these guys. And uh, I think that's about it. Startup is pretty straightforward. We can get some diplo points, or some points, I suppose. So let's do that. We're going to do what we can. <laughs> uh, we can just take some ducats from them. And there we go. Uh, Shoni. Ah, uh, we might as well oil Miriam. There's no point in not doing it. Some free, uh... Free, uh... Relation in the beginning. So, in an attempt to prepare for the Pirate Republic, we are going to... Build a couple of extra... Lights here. Um... And for those of you who don't know, So is a, a one province nation that starts on the island of Tsushima. And uh, historically, this was a bit of a pirate haven in uh, the real world, and it was around this time, and uh, the So is actually the name of the dynasty that ruled this, and it is actually So with a, a line over it, so kind of cool. I, uh, have, sorry, I keep clearing my throat. It is early in the morning for me, and uh, I have a problem clearing my throat in the morning for one reason or another. Let's go ahead and turn that army off. We do not want to be spending needless amounts of money on that. Okay, the Onin War. The tensions between Usugi, Usugi and Ogasawara have spiraled out of control and now war has broken out. The ramifications of this is felt throughout the Japanese islands. As our fellow daimyos begin to take sides, the alliances are brought into play. Whoever may win this current civil war, however, it is clear that the current Ashikaga Shogunate is too weak to prevent it. We are not the only ones who have who uh, will have take, have noticed this, and it is quite likely that the Great War of the Onin period will result in a prolonged period of strife and warfare between the different Japanese states. So, uh, we get some army tradition decay. Pretty good. And we're just going to wait. We want to get this. Who are you? Um, You are rivaled to my friend, so I should probably keep you guys separate. So I should explain a couple of things. Um, the goal of this campaign is uh, there is no achievement per se, but what we are going to be doing is we are going to be forming a pirate republic. We are going to conquer all of Japan, and then we're going to conquer all of the British Isles. That is the goal. Uh, core and conquer, conquering core all of the British Isles and all of the Japanese Isles, and have a massive, massive navy where we can pirate everybody into the ground. That's the goal. Um, so as for end goal, conquering Great Britain. That is that is the plan. Uh, obviously, there's a bunch of stuff that's going to come into play throughout all that. Show need to declare ward on these guys, which is good because I literally just denied their claim to uh, call them or to uh, be their friend, I should say. So the event should be happening here pretty soon to uh, give us the Pirate Republic um, government type. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. They have claimed my island. So this is a capital and this is their fort. So this is 14 or 10 devs, so I definitely want that. I wonder. So if they weren't at war, I would be able to do this actually. So let's actually go ahead and get some fleet basing rights over here. Uh oh. Apparently we can just march our men over there. Okay, I didn't know that. Well, that's nice. <laughs> All right, other trade ship is on its way. So the idea is, is we call them in, um, and we have six and they don't, and we can just run in and stack wipe them. And if you, if somebody joins the war on your side, they will not, you will not get black flagged. At least that's my understanding of the mechanic. Go ahead and take you guys home, though. Actually, nope. Let's keep them right here. So we're just waiting on... Oh, come on now. That's lame. Alright, let's speed five it for a moment. No way. He's gonna back me up, but geez, oh, Pete. I'm losing men I didn't need to lose. So he conquered them, which is nice. That means his force limit is going to be bigger. So we are going to do this. Uh, first of all, we need to increase our army maintenance. Let's go ahead and make these guys both generals. A uh, one siege for both of them. Sounds pretty good to me. All daimyos are displeased. Gossip, uh, prestige, and diplo rep for 150 or... Spy network. Eh, let's go with spy network. I'd rather not lose a diplo rep. A pirate's life for me, baby. Here it goes. That is the one we were looking for. We get to keep our air, which is nice. And uh, we want to go ahead and have you guys in charge of over here. And um, we're actually going to go ahead and do some pirating real quick here. We're waiting on our morale to tick up, so we got some time. So... Good old pirate raiding coast mechanics. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and raid all the coasts. Lots of money. Raid the coasts. Raid the coasts. And I don't think you can get this Western Yellow Sea. I actually think you can only get like these guys right here. So we'll take what we can. Oh yes, we will be rich. So we should probably also Build another army stack, just in case. Looks like he's actually at war with Hosokawa. So I should probably declare this war now. So here's what we're going to do. And this is a trick that I learned from a Roomba a long time ago. Um, you can call somebody in on a promise of territory. Um, but they don't join on the first day. So what you do is you select both of their provinces as vital interest, or all of them, actually. So he will be joining. So you want to make sure that you are claiming it. And so, when he joins the war, he will not consider it vital interest. Or maybe he will. I don't know. This is weird. Anyways, let's go ahead and have you guys attach to me. We will be in charge of this. They don't quite have the navy to worry about it. So, it's good. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of money. And we have you guys go ahead and privateering Beijing. Let's have the rest of them go on home. And I'll keep my Admiral here for now. Mm, actually, we'll put our Admiral... Yeah, we'll keep our Admiral on our fleet. So what does that put our Force Limit up to? Two more. So let's go ahead and get a couple more lights over here. And we are going to... Privateer the crap out of everybody. Hey, a disease outbreak. That's my favorite. Okay. So let's go ahead and have you guys brought over there. Gonna need this eventually, so we might as well get another disease outbreak because this game is fun, right? Was that back to back? There we go. We'll take some for we'll take some money losses, but it's fine. Um, you guys are a trade ship, so you can go ahead and privateer in Beijing as well. 
Um, for some reason, they're not privateering in Beijing, so there you go. Because they don't feel like they have naval superiority, which we don't, so that's fair. But this is what we're going to go for. He lost his capital, so he'll actually probably peace out here. And we're going to win this siege. We just want to get our foothold in the mainland. That's uh, that's honestly the key there. Another disease outbreak. I cannot believe how many we've gotten. And I'm probably actually going to take this as well. So... So Shoni does not have any men out there. So let's go ahead and avoid those guys. Um, yeah, they have four galleys. Oh, okay. Well, we can... They have multiple wars. So let's go ahead and sink their navy. Very good. We actually stole a galley. Well, that's a beautiful thing right there. And, uh... There we go. So now we just, uh... Just need to... Take care of the things, and there we go. Just need to siege this down, and we'll be good to go. I love extra stab costs. Those events are always so fun. But you can see right here, he won't be upset if we don't give him land, because we claimed it as vital interest of ourselves. So he's like, well, I guess I can't really be mad that you took land that you said you wanted, you know? So, always nice. For some reason, my lights keep flinging out there. So let's go ahead and have the lights... Uh, privateering in Beijing with our uh, with our pirate captain, our cap grand captain. I don't know what his title is actually. Grand vizier, captain. Yeah, capitan. So, come on now, let's win the siege here. Win the siege here, please. There we go. We will take both of them. It's a lot of AE, but. Um, I don't mind. There we go. Core that up. And uh, certainly raise the autonomy. I am not going to worry about that. Uh, unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get those guys half and half. And see, now we are pirating. Oh, the, it's because they were down here when I said to make them, I assume. So we are now actually pulling in 0.8 ducats a month. And this is over the force limit, right? Um, let's go ahead and get rid of one of them. That will get rid of our... Ooh, our, our guy is dead, unfortunately. Well, let's see here. What do we prefer? We're, gonna, we're not going to be behind. Let's go ahead and go with the up-and-coming pirate. Our overlord Ashikaga decided to steal base tax. Really? Okay. Not sure why I'm getting Discord notifications. Let me go ahead and uh, just close that out because people tag me and stuff and it still sends me a notification even though I don't have it. I'm in streamer mode. Okay, so Shoni is attacking Shimatsu. Shimazu and Kono. Okay. So let's see here. Let's get my guys grouped up then. There we go. Let's kill these guys. This is Woods, but we outnumber them. Um... Never mind. Go ahead and get you guys over there with the Admiral. So I don't get stack wiped. They're running up into my fort, which is actually wood, so this is actually better for us. Um, there we go. We should win this. I don't know how they're hanging on. Wait a minute, what? Oh my god. I literally cannot stand the weird mechanics about morale in this game. Get out. I have double your men. Get out. Jeez. Okay. Well. So. This changes everything. The Renaissance is here. We'll probably take one of each tech. And then... 
or mm, maybe not. Definitely we'll be taking mill. But then we'll probably end up just uh, spending all of our points, actually. The more I think about it, the more I want to actually do this. So let's go ahead and just dump all of our points here. The sooner we can spawn the Renaissance, the better. And it'll actually help with our income as well. Yeah, it's good. Um, and this is Inland Seas? It is, good. So, they have 3,000 men. This is Woods, unfortunately. I actually can afford another guy in my navy, in my army. So let's go ahead and... Make a manpower. No reason not to. I don't know why these guys are privateer. It says they're privateering, but... Okay, they are. Apparently. Uh... I'll take the Diplo points. Sounds good to me. There we go. Let's have you guys brought on over there. Head on up here. And let's come on over there and blockade. If we siege this, we may actually be able to... Ooh. Tyranny of Captain Yoshikasu Mira. Um, well, I'm not going to lose a stab, so. So we're going to win this, and ideally we win the siege, and then we immediately peace. Okay, never mind. He peaced out. So he owes us favors now. So I should have been building spy network over here. And I'm definitely going to need to build some spy network in Hosokawa. Basically, we're already a pirate republic, so the, the goal is to get as big and strong as we possibly can in the shortest period of time. Let's go ahead and spread them out. Um, Otomo. We would like to get big PP, but it's probably not going to happen. There we go. We are now making profit again. And we are going to keep on dumping our points. There we go. The higher we get our base taxes, or the... Oh my gosh, dude. I want this province. I will come in. I want this province. He's already sieging it. Man. This dude is an absolute maniac. He's just a warlord going for everything. I want that land. Where's my money? Let's see here. I can actually get more war score than they can. More participation, I should say. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be a tougher one. I was kind of hoping to... Uh, to get that, but it is what it is. We'll be able to piece out separately, probably. Come on now. I'll probably piece out separately. Um, actually, I don't think I'll have any individual war score. I don't think that's how it works. Yeah. Unfortunate. But see, now we can actually build another guy. The more we build up our base tax, the better. So, here is our guy over here. Let's go ahead and send him back over there. For some reason, I can't... Okay, so those guys actually... I don't know if we stole a light or what that was all about. Very good. So these guys are allied to a lot of people. Jeez. Um, let's see here. Truce with these guys is gonna be up. Isn't gonna be up for quite a while. Oh, this is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get a claim on that, and then get a claim on... We can't even get a claim on them because we're at war with them. Hmm. Oh my gosh. These random events that are just... Zapping my either Republican tradition or stab is just so unfortunate. But it is what it is. So mandate is kind of low, actually. 
A lot of people don't know about this, but you can, as a basically an OPM, like we're in islands, they can't land. If we build up our naval strength, especially with galleys, they won't be able to do anything. And they actually get, um, they lose based on devastation. So as long as I can keep them devastated, oh, it looks like they actually have separatists firing as well. So we'll be able to take a trip to the Bank of Ming uh, in short order. go there we go we have quite a bit of war participation but i don't think it's gonna actually matter at all which is unfortunate would you guys please go wait i literally just said to do it go do it i don't know why they won't privateer there we go eee so good all right Who's at war? Yamana? Jeez, oh, Pete, all these people are going crazy. They're warmongers. They're allied to Oda and Shawnee. Hmm. These are both pretty good provinces. I would like them. Do I lose more Republican tradition? He's young, low tax, but he's young, so we'll keep him. Let's also make sure we're spending all these points. We're gonna keep our mill because we don't wanna fall behind on mill. So we will keep our mill points. Let's get on over there. So Hosokawa actually has cav and everything. Hmm. That's a tough one. Yep, they got annexed and now they owe me favors, so. Let's see here. I will take this claim here. So he'll join Shiba and Togugawa. So let's see here. Who will not help him? Those guys up here. Shiba is where? So those guys will help them and then Shiba is where? So it's two one province miners. The him and then him. These guys have a lot of random land all over the place. So let's go ahead and rival Hosokawa. Let's rival Kono. Let's rival Yamana. These guys are going to end up getting eaten by us as well. Especially as if we can um, get a strong enough navy, they won't be able to get any men over here. What are they doing over there? What's that about? What are you doing there, huh? Does it say? They're coring? I don't think that's the sign of making it a core. I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of cool. I kind of want in on that. All right, cool. So, we definitely do need to make sure we have more galleys. I think that is going to be our limiting factor here whenever it comes to um, a lot of the conflict we're going to end up having. We're actually going to go ahead and build some spy network on these guys. So we have a ton of liberty desire, so I'm not worried about getting annexed or anything like that. And when will we be able to raid again? 56. So we got a couple of years. Getting claims on as much as we can. Losing prestige, like we do. Um, I actually don't know a whole lot about these incidents. I saw them. Um, I remember I watched Corbett's campaign a while back about where he was playing as Christian Japan. Um, and so it seems here that isolationist is extra missionary and conversion cost. And then war exhaustion and stab cost. So I don't know. I think I would probably prefer the tech So we are currently adaptive, which is dev cost. Let's see here. 
Neo Confucian is not new to Japan. Uh, it spread from China in the Kamakura period, and like many aspects of Chinese and wider East Asian culture, it quickly took root. Its um, rationalistic outlook is, above all, very well suited for strengthening the authority of the ruler. And if we were to encourage its development in Japan, we might be able to stronger create a stronger principle for the controlling of our people. Um, I'm going to lean towards open. I don't see any reason not to. And let's go ahead and make sure we are spending all our points here. Raising our force limit slowly but surely as well. The next one's probably going to have to be a cav, unfortunately. So expensive, but uh, we're going to need it. We're going to be able to beat up on their navy, which will be nice. I'm pretty sure we actually get as a... Uh, we have trade efficiency and trade steering... And domestic trade power. Hmm. This gives us a naval force limit and the ability to raid coasts. Okay. Very cool. So we're just going to get a couple claims on this guy. Let's go to one on Satsuma. It's probably going to make him dislike me, but I want to keep the alliance at least for now. I don't understand how he only has one... One cab stack? That doesn't make much sense. So these guys are at war? Or are they fighting rebels? So let's go ahead and get a claim there. So Shoni will help us. And I think... See, the issue is, is that he's got a lot of men. I think the issue... So let's see here. If I... Let's take these guys up to Tsushima. Admin, yes please. Ooh. Um, Need one more dev, there we go. We're gonna make so much money just from this one province. It costs extra to dev it, but I could dev up here, but uh, I think having it in the capital with our low autonomy is probably more more useful right now. And the, the, dip, the points will pay themselves off, so don't worry about Oh, you're not being efficient with your Monarch points. It's fine. It's really going to be fine, I promise. Um, let me see here. Probably going to go a couple more minutes. First episode of the campaign. Might as well splurge and go a little long on it, right? Alright, so let's get that Cav. So I think what I would like to do is I would like to bait him in to taking a straight crossing. He's got a one maneuver general. We don't have a general. But now we do. We have a two maneuver general. So I think what I would like to do... Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, he's gonna join now. Oh! Okay, never mind. I don't have an idea. We basically need to wait until this guy will not join. Because he's run he would be contributing entirely too many people to the... Uh, to the cause. Hmm. When is our truce with you guys up? 59. So it actually... Let's go ahead and get a claim on you as well. Go ahead and get that galley up there. We're not even over our limit. That's crazy, man. Okay. And we're going to want this mill tech before we go to war. It's going to be really good for us. Man. They start with this god emperor here, god king, Sejong Doyi. And uh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get a claim on uh, this guy there, and this guy there. We're just going to get claims on all of our ally. <laughs> all of our allies land, I should say. So... I think we're good right now. We probably are going to end up going um, exploration for our first thing. See if maybe we could spawn uh, colonialism. I think that sounds like a good call for us. Um, I will hold off. Advisor costs. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we'll keep them again. It's fine. 
He's really going to start bringing in those Monarch points for us, which is what we need. We're going to hold off on this until we embrace Institution, so which will be pretty soon. One more month till we can get that click, I think. Very good. We'll do one mill click. I lied. We'll do two mill clicks. And uh, we will embrace Institution, and now we can just hold off on it. And now we can actually sell it. Oh, Ming hates us, of course. Bria hates us as well. Who can we sell it to? Let's see if anybody wants to buy it. Offer knowledge sharing to Ashikaga. He would. If he, uh... What? Is a subject nation. Ah, well, I guess we can't then. All right, cool. I suppose that's a good place to call it for the first one. Um, we, you know, tripled our size, basically. Uh, we have a lot of money in the bank, and we are built up to force limit and naval limit. No, that's not true. We need one more force limit. I'm tempted to make it a light, but I'm also I'm going to go ahead and make it a galley. And uh, we're going to use this to do some funny shenanigans over here. Um, and so, this is a friendly... Basically, all we need to do is blockade this here, and we can bait them into coming into and taking a straight crossing. Looks like he is actually at war here. This is our this is our time to shine right here. Who are you at war with, my friend? So this is an offensive war, I assume, from him. Attacker. Yep. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to declare this war for uh, Suo. We are going to call in Shawnee. I'm going to, before he joins in, mark everything over here as vital interest so he doesn't try to take anything. And uh, that'll do it. So I hope you guys are enjoying. And if you are, please share your support and leave a like. Um, this first video in the campaign is always the most influential as to how the campaign does. And so getting a lot of engagement in it is important for the YouTube algorithm as well as for me. I want to know if you guys are enjoying it. So if you are, leave a comment down below. Let me know um, if you'd if you like to see something twist or any extra challenges you'd like to add to the campaign because those are the types of things that I want to add. I want to make sure that what I'm doing is what you guys want to watch. And so I appreciate that. I would like to see, you know, somewhere of upwards of a thousand likes on this video. Um, I know that we've done that in the past, but like I said, I've done the like goals in the past and people usually just get irritated about it. So I don't want to be annoying. Um, I'm just trying to find ways to grow my channel in ways that are not uh, invasive, right? And so if you guys um, have not subscribed, I would encourage you to. And if you ding the bell, it'll send you a notification when I upload. So if you're excited for the campaign and you want to keep up with it, that's the best way to do it. We also have a Discord as well as uh, my channel has a Patreon page. So if you want to support what I do financially and you uh, have the means, links are in the description below the video. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.